everyone, it's me again. So I'll uh, I should check my hair, but I've got I've got like headphone hair. So yeah, um, I'll t tell you what's been going on with my week this week. Um, this week's been a pretty good week. Um, I had my best friend. Sarah come round. She came round because like we wanted to do something before I went away to Vancouver so she came round and we ate too much food and like Chinese food and pizza and chips and dip and cake and donuts and chocolate and I still feel sick. <laughs> it was good although um, on one of the days there was a power cut um, which lasted from I don't know just before 10 till 3 o'clock in the afternoon and yeah it was frustrating but all of my devices were still like powered up um, so I was kind of okay um, but Sarah's a little bit antsy <laughs> so she ended up calling the power company a few times saying when's the power back on what's going on you said two o'clock, it's now ten past two! <laughs> so yeah, that, that was hilarious. So yeah, she said a couple of nights and we had a pretty good time. Um, yeah, so that happened. What else happened? Um, oh, you know that stupid essay I had? I, I know I call them all stupid essays, but this is a particular stupid essay. The one I had to resubmit for my COVP, the care of the vulnerable, vulnerable person, I got the results back for that, when was it? Friday? And I passed! Woo! So that's me finally passed all the assessments that I had to have done for my second year. So I'm officially a third year, big bad third year, uh, still know nothing. Um, but yeah, I've uh, still got my end of year interview to go to. Now, my end of year interview, she emailed me, and when she when she had like scheduled uh, scheduled it for was like in the middle of when I'm away to Vancouver, and I had to email her back, and I thought she'd be angry, but she she wasn't. I've just to pop in and see her when I'm next in uni. Fine, cool. So. That's happening. Um, now, you, you, you probably want to hear more about the ceiling cancellation thing because that's all been going on about for the past like six weeks or something. Now, not a lot is going on. Um, it's not a lot to update you on because it's away. Um, the paperwork is away. It's in Salt Lake. Um, it's not actual physical paperwork. It's not like a letter or anything. It's all done by email. Um, so. That's away in Salt Lake at the moment, and it's going to be looked into by the First Presidency, and, you know, there's no real time frame for when it can get done. A lot of people say it can take weeks, some say it takes months, some, say it's, some even say it takes years, but it won't take years. Um, yeah, so... I'm feeling quite confident. You know, it's like I've got a good feeling about about it. So, hope it <laughs> continues. Um, talking about paperwork, some more pa paperwork was filed this this week in the last week um, with Jonathan's visa application. Um, he's applying for an ancestry visa to come over to the UK and live and work. He plans to come over in October and stay till, well, when I qualify, which is um, a year in September. So, a year next month, so about a year. Um, so, the paperwork's away. He has to have an interview at the British Consulate, so the interview is happening this Friday. I think it's Friday 22nd. And I, I don't know what's involved in like the interview, but he's got all his paperwork and stuff. I mean, all that's done and all that's okay. Um, but we would appreciate any prayers for his visa and, of course, our 
ceiling cancellation because everything's just up in the air at the moment. It's like everything's like up there and oh, we don't know what's going on and you know, it's coming into single numbers of days, like a 10 day countdown until I'm away in Vancouver and everything's just up in the air and we don't know what's going on. Um, but you know, it's like as time has gone gone on, it's like I've been feeling more and more confident about what's been happening. Um, you know, it's like I almost want to feel negative about the visa and the ceiling cancellation. The reason I want to feel negative about it because if you feel as though something's not going to work and if you feel bad about something you can't feel any worse you know um, whereas if you feel good about something and things don't work out then you're crushed I don't really want to be there again you know um, but there's something about it I'm just awfully optimistic and I feel so calm but this is calm for me <laughs> so calm and comforted and I don't know I just have a feeling that everything's gonna be okay and everything is going in the right direction nothing's going backwards nothing's standing still we're we're, we're going forwards every day we're, we're, like, we're like pressing on every day and that's where I want to be you know and it's like I, I, I would probably say it's probably the influence of like of like the Holy Sp Spirit that's kind of calming me. You know, it's like especially doing you know a lot of prayer and scripture and stuff with Jonathan. Then it's like I've been feeling it more and more. I I don't know, but he's made some sort of difference to the way that I view things and how. I feel about about the gospel and stuff like that. I don't I don't know what he's done. I don't know what he's done to me. <laughs> but I'm a lot calmer and I think that I'm um, a lot be better person for it as well. Um, but yeah, he calms me and it's nice. So um, yeah, it's like I said, it's days until I go away to Vancouver. It's like I only have like one show left here at the studio and then we're away. So, but I've got all this work to do from uni. I've just had this just email saying it's like you've got to vlog 19 hours on Safe Medicaid. I've vlogged zero. And it's not one of those things you can just keep the tab open. No, you have to be interacting with it to log the hours. So I actually have to physically do something. It's like I have to 19 hours and I've got a portfolio thing that I have to write. Uh, this giant portfolio that's supposed to be two years worth. I haven't written a thing to do that. And my big orb booklet thing is just like, it's, just, it's like, it's biblical in size. You know what I mean? It's just massive. And I'm going to have to do that in the next week. I'm prepared for going away. But thankfully, I'm organized, so most of the stuff is ready for going away. But yeah, get that done. I can finally relax and enjoy the time that I'm going to be having in Vancouver with my gran and Jonathan. So I know my gran's all kind of excited about it, um, you know, and it's, I don't think I'm going to have time to get excited because I've got all this uni work to do. So yes. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm down to my last 35 seconds, as usual, the clock's beating me. So I will speak to you next week or whenever. Just whenever. Okay, <laughs> see ya, bye.